got some new kicks. And I get this problem with my foot where like four weeks ago, I messed my left foot up real bad. And now, my foot's so swollen that shoes don't fit. It's been swollen for four weeks. I really should probably get to a doctor about it. Let me show you. If you look, I never tried this left shoe on yesterday at the store. I tried the right shoe on. But, you can see by the way this is tied, how much more, like, how much tighter it is. This one has to be so loose that the laces are just, you can't even tie it now because my foot is so swollen right here and this whole thing is just, I don't know. It's definitely messed up big time. It's messed up like big time. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. All right guys, it is Saturday the 16th of July and morning weight this morning was uh, 194 pounds. So down a good amount and I'll show you not huge changes yet but there's how I'm looking 194 pounds right now it's not too early um, Sierra got up and went to work she got up at like 6 or 7 a.m. or something had to go to work so I was tossing and turning in bed a little bit, and then I finally got out of bed at like 8.59, and I've just been laying around since then. But I'm about to go do my cardio. It's 10 o'clock now, and um, I'm going to go do fasted cardio today. I really want to speed up the process a little bit and do some fasted, like I said in my last video. So we're going to go do that, and um, then hopefully also, because I'm just not, I don't have an appetite very much right now, and so... Hopefully when I get back from that, I'll be good to go eat a little bit and then head over to, uh, I just got a few things I'm going to do today and then probably go back tonight and train back and hopefully get some footage of it. So something I do every morning is alpha aminos. Um, you guys know my Cellucor code is KLF, 25% <clears throat> off Cellucor. But I love to sip on the aminos while I'm doing cardio, whether it's fasted or not. I just always am sipping on aminos. And I bet you, this is the first time that I'm really like incorporating amino, aminos into my anything. And man, they're good. They're real good. I've been using them like as if it's just flavoring my water. Not a ton, like I'll have two packets a day, maybe three. <clears throat> Usually have one late at night, one when I'm doing cardio, and maybe one in the morning. So right now my morning one is my cardio one. But I'll also bring my big gallon jug there because the water from the aminos, it goes pretty quick. So. Yeah, I'll have that right now. Um, take a Super HD pill on my way as well. Guys, check this out. Check this out. Look at all of this Cellucor stuff. It's just waiting to be given away. I need to do a giveaway sometime ASAP because I don't need it all. And I ordered it to give it away. Got it all in to give it away. So let me know. Comment below what idea, <coughs> ideas you guys have for giveaways. I have some cool ideas. Um, I, I mainly use Instagram for giveaways and stuff, but I want to give it to you guys too for supporting me on YouTube. So help me think of some cool ways we can do some interactive giveaways with the Cellucor products. I have aminos. I have pre-workout. I have... Um, NO3, I have Super HD, I have whey protein, I have, what else do I have? Um, I think I have P6 even. So, there's a lot, there's definitely a lot. So, let me know some ideas you have. All right, so the day is basically done. Turns out, having a high carb day, having a refeed day today. And since 
Keegan's girlfriend works at, Nicole works at a sushi house, and my girlfriend now, as of what, a few days ago, works at a sushi restaurant. Check this out. That's a whole lot of pizza. Mm. So, I'm gonna eat this and probably way less tomorrow. We'll see. Kaya, are you happy? Kaya, are you happy? It's ready. Killing it? So, yep. today is, the, is it the 18th? 18th. Today's the 18th of July. And, 44 days out from the goal show, which is North Americans, 33 days, no, yeah, 33 days out from the warm-up show. <clears throat> Not entirely sure yet which one also it is. Still, macros 50 fat, 200 carbs, 250 protein. It's 194 now for three days in a row. 194, two days ago, had a refeed, woke up 194. <clears throat> then today, 194. And so tomorrow, I'm going to drop my carbs down, depending on my weight in the morning. Right now, I'm just getting a banana real quick, 100 grams of banana, which is just over 20 grams of carbs, because my carbs are at only at 90 grams today, and I like that a little bit more before we go on weight train. So, Keegan and I are gonna go train chest, and yeah, I gotta take care of my laundry real quick, and then we're gonna go. That's it. Ooh. Stay. All right, so before we go to the gym, we have to make a quick stop at the post office, get some orders out for Mind Over Matter, and Keegan's sending out some waffles. Some waffles. Can I tell him about it real uh, quick? You can say a little bit, then we're doing bit. some testing. So Keegan's got this product, um, these waffles. It's a healthy waffle. Um, it's a high protein waffle. High protein. It's a high protein waffle that he makes. And he's working on bringing it to the market right now. So he's just going through the testing stuff of it and um, things like that right now. So sending out some samples to get tested and that sort of thing. So there'll be an Indiegogo coming soon. It's an Indiegogo for it that he's making that uh, I'll share that with you guys once it's up. But um, something I'm excited about. Keegan's home now. He got to enjoy a week in or with Outer Banks. The Outer Banks. In the Outer Banks. So he's home now. So good news for you guys. Now I'll actually have some quality videos because I have someone to record for me when I'm working out especially. So I know the last few videos you guys saw weren't that great. No gym footage or anything but now we'll be able to do that. So a lot better videos coming. So today all I've really had to eat. Um, this morning I had a serving of oats with um, two tablespoons of peanut butter in it, and I tossed in, what were those M&Ms? Those were baking semi-sweet M&Ms. So he had some M&Ms that I threw in it too. There's 10 grams of carbs. So I threw that in there, um, and then I had a protein shake. And then my second meal, what was my second meal? Oh, that big sloppy mess. Um, 100 grams of white rice with a can of tuna and five egg whites was my second meal. And then the third meal was his waffles. So I was trying them out and they're delicious. He made them with, uh, he made them for me with the Cellucor way in them this time. They're not the way that they're gonna be using, but I just had a bunch laying around and he ran out of his because he needed it for his samples. So I just gave him some of my Cellucor way and he just mixed it in. So, um, that's it for today. Oh, and then I had that banana. I just saw a turtle back there. And then I had that banana. And now we're going to the gym. So our post office, then the gym.
What were you telling me? Keegan's new at, um, he's not new in the gym. He's been lifting for how long? No? Two years, two and a half years. Fairly new. But um, he's new to this new method of training I'm helping him with to help him with his strength and his size, and especially his off season, of not doing 10 plus reps on everything and not going superset after superset back to back and just burning himself out. So right now we're working on just six sets, um, two warm up sets, and then six or four heavy sets of six reps is what we're doing. And so right now is our working sets of the six reps. That's why we've been doing the six reps, everything. Climbing up and up and up, and the first weight we did. So, like me, for instance, the first working set I did was 225. I could do 225 for you know 15, 20 reps. I don't know, but I stopped at six. So then I can add more weight on and keep going up. And then what was the second one? 25, 245. I think I did. I believe I think I put 10 on. Did that for six, even though I could do it for more. And then, uh, 275. I did that for six, even though I could have probably grinded out one or two more. And now this should be a set where the six rep is going to be a struggle. So that's what I'm helping Keegan with and telling him that you can't go back to back though when you do this kind of type of workout. You got to take a minute or two in between each set and let your body flush, you know, the lactic acid. Get some time for your, your muscles to, you know, just heal a little bit. Get your head back into it and focus on the weight again. Don't, you know, just let your body get its energy back for a minute. You can't just go back to back there. You gotta take some rest time in between. That's how you're gonna grow, that's how you're gonna get stronger. That's what we're talking about. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the flat dumbbell press. We're gonna just do one set of lighter weight. Um, I'll probably do 50 pounds, 10 reps. Every time I go to a new machine, I like to do, I call it a warm up set, even though we're not warming up, but to warm up to that new movement, that new exercise. So that's what we're gonna do. And then again, four working sets of six reps. Climbing up each time, pyramiding up. Or not pyramiding, but just climbing up each time. What did I do wrong? Okay, so Keegan was just benching. I wish I had enough film, but sorry, but he was benching like this, coming back up high like this. What I told him to do is get act like you're bending. Well, since we're doing dumbbell press, it's gonna be a little different, but I want his hands to come in a little bit, angled more, and instead of being up, bring your elbows down a little bit, which is gonna activate the lats a little bit more. It's gonna take your shoulders more out of the play and get your pecs working more. So benching more like this, rather than like this. That's it. What are we doing? Alright, we're 
we're just going to do a couple sets of this, probably just three sets of like 10 reps. Kind of just a filler workout right now, just to wait until a bench opens up that we can take over the Smith machine and do some incline. So this is just some downtime we're going to burn. And uh, I was going to do this after the Smith machine, but that's all right. We'll just do a higher volume on the Smith machine instead. Worth it to keep it that short. Yeah, so 30 days of struggle, 44 days of struggle. And especially if I struggle hard enough and work hard enough to where I'm successful and I win, it's only worth it. Like, you don't remember that like, when you get that trophy, it kind of erases all the memory of all how hard it was to get it. But then when you don't get it, it enhances the memory of how many times you cheated your diet and the reason you didn't get it, you know, things like that. Or the time you're like, I could have worked harder that day on cardio. I could have went up a couple levels on the stairmaster, but I didn't. And that's why I lost. So this time around, short, short prep, but I'm gonna try to ensure myself that there are none of those days where I could have days. Yeah, buddy. Next movement, what do we got? We're gonna do a uh, half rep, full rep. So, pretty self explanatory. Do a half rep, do a full rep. We're gonna superset it, push ups, and then chest flex. 10 second chest flex.
that it targets more of the upper chest. So down from down low, up to here, and then a movement coming up. Like that it's gonna hit more mid chest and then upper. That movement will give more of that upper look of like everyone likes that upper chest. So that's what we're focusing on. Since we did a lot of flat benching, we're gonna focus more on. I usually would just do a normal fly or one from up higher coming down, but we're gonna reverse. Switch things up a little bit. How many reps? Rep range? 10 to 12. And then we're still gonna superset it with uh, flexing. doing it that intense it's pretty steady it is steady state I just hit level 10 ride it out the whole time it's 272 calories for 25 minutes but right now got my alpha aminos and my glutamine so I'm gonna get a scoop of that and just drink this while I'm waiting show them what I'm cooking over there I just got two plays of, I don't know, we're, let's see if you guys know this. See if you guys can help me out in the comments and try to pronounce it. How do you say that kind of fish? It's S-W-A-I. Is it Swai? Swai? What is it? Sway? Sway? We don't know. I, I think, I call it Swai. So, and um, that fish out of like all the white fish, out of all the white um, fish out there, that one's the most, I guess, or the least calorie dense, protein dense for the amount of volume. So if you want to have like a high volume meal, so like cod, 
four ounces of cod is 20 grams of protein. Four ounces of that, I think, is only like three or maybe even less. I don't know exactly, but there's not as much protein in that. So if you want to eat more volume, have swai, swa, or sway. I'm gonna have that. 100 grams of white rice and half an avocado. Cool. What are you doing? Kaya, <laughs> stop licking everything. <laughs> Why'd you lick the lens? Probably really good breaded. What it is. Is the mic on? Yeah. I cooked my fish differently this time. I didn't put seasoning on it when I cooked it. I just threw it right in the pan with the Pam spray. And let it, I let it, like I overcooked it almost. So it's really crispy on the outside. Because if you cook it too long with seasoning on it, it just burns the seasoning and doesn't taste as good. So I seasoned it when it was completely done. And it's crispy, like, you probably can't hear it, but it's like, literally crunchy. Way better, way better. My family's about to get here. My brother's moving to Charlotte. So, I, uh, I don't know if I was supposed to say that, oh well. They're gonna be here in like 30 seconds, so I gotta put the dogs in the cage real quick.